I was at the bus station on my way home and I was hungry so I was going to get a candy bar out of the candy machine so I wouldn't be hungry anymore and I reached in my pocket and I took out a shiny quarter and I was going to put it in the candy machine and just as I got ready to put it in the candy machine the quarter called out to me yeah it did it called out to me and it said don't put me in the candy machine what the hell was that? And he said, No, put me in the candy machine. And I looked out of my corner, and George Washington was going, No, put me in the candy machine. And I said, What the hell, you can't talk? Stop talking, quarter! And he looked at me, and he said, It's going to eat me, don't put me in there! I said, It's not going to eat you, you're supposed to go in there so I can get the candy bar! I want to eat the candy bar! And he said, No, you put me in there, it's going to eat me! And I don't want to die! I don't want to die! And, and I said, no, you shut up, quarter, i put you in. And I put the quarter in. And, and then all of a sudden I heard, eh, eh, no, 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 ah. And so that was weird. What was that? But I didn't hear anything. So I pushed my button and got my candy out. And when I get ready to open up the candy wrapper, there were these little silver splatterings all over the candy wrapper. Look kind of like blood splatters, but they were silver. And I said, oh my God, you killed my quarter. It was telling the truth! And so I went over to the service desk. I said, Mister, Mister, the candy machine ate my quarter! And he said, No, it didn't, because you got your candy right there, so it didn't eat your quarter. I said, No! Look, this is blood splatter. It ate my quarter. It really did. It warned me it was going to. And he said, Mister, you need to go sit down and wait for your bus. I don't have time to mess with this. I said, but it ate my quarter. See, this is my quarter's blood. He said, Mister, you don't leave now. You're not going to be allowed riding the bus no more. I said, but the quarter got eaten. That machine killed my quarter. It ate it. And I turned around and there was these two big tall guys there. And they said, sir, you have to leave now. I said, I don't want to go away from my bus. They said, you should have thought about that before you try to get free money from us. And I said, I ain't trying to get free money from you. I want my quarter not to be dead. It ain't it, ain't it, ain't it. And they didn't listen. But if you ever go to the candy machine at the bus station, don't do it. It'll eat your quarters. Oh, it's so eat.
Quarters!